patient, patient, and so on is one of the key technology in ontological building. And all those roles have been discussed by many researchers, but there may remain some problem to how to uh, fix. So now I give a um, motivative example. Uh, the question is, is murderer a role or not? Please consider uh, three in a second. <laughs> Some one answer no. Uh, it is partly because a uh, reason would be because one cannot stop being a murderer once he and she has started to play it. This reason is reasonable to some extent, but uh, we need more convincing explanation, explanation of what murderer is ontologically meaning. And also, there are many other examples uh, related to this topic, victims, mother, examining, candidate, departing passenger, and so on. This is a very important concept to building ontology. So we need to clarify this meaning. So in this research, we, in order to de deal with such kinds of roles based on ontological theory of roles, we introduce a model of derived roles. Uh, this, uh, these three are major characteristics of roles. But uh, in this presentation, we focus on first one, that is context dependencies. For example, in a, at the instance level, in a school, John plays the teacher role and thereby becomes a teacher of the school. This is generalized to at the class level like this. In a context, an entity plays a role concept and thereby becomes a role holder. This is a fundamental scheme of our role models. Based on, based on this model, according to the type of the context on which roles are dependent, we can identify two kinds of roles. First one is role dependent on continuum. Examples include a uh, teacher's president, wife, and so on. And second one is role dependent on occurrence. Example include runner, murderer, symptom, and so on. Here, we focus on this type of role, and especially, we pick up these three examples, teacher, runner, murderers, and we clarify an uh, ontological difference of these roles. At what we consider about a uh, relationship between present or context and the play of role playing. In the case of teacher, uh, the context is present when the role is being played. It means when uh, someone is teacher, uh, the context of school is, must be present. And uh, in case of runner, it also, the context is present when the role is being played, but in this case, the Starting point and ending point is uh, at the same time, <laughs> something so like. Uh, on the other hand, in case of murderer, the context is not present when the role is being played. That is, when someone becomes murderer, the kill killing process or killing event is already completed. This is uh, a big problem. But in this example, we think mother is not original role, but derived role, derived from the corresponding original roles. The definition, bit, uh, definition of original role and derived role is like this, but uh, we skip this detail. So I gave some example using mother case. In the case of mother, it means a person who killed a, pers killed a person, we can find a uh, original role for murderer at this time point. It is a uh, an original role holder, which <laughs> means a person who has just completed a killing action. At this time point, uh, he uh, uh, murderer is appears, but in 
this case, in this one is a not a original role, but a derivable role. Uh, that is a person who killed a person as a derivable role to, uh, come from this original mother role holders. Uh, based on this observation, we uh, introduce an ontological model of derivable role like this. We can classify two kinds of derivable role. First one is prospective derivable role holder, which are uh, defined dependent on future process or event. And the other one is retrospective derivable role holder, which are defined dependent on past process and events. And in detail, oh, uh, sorry, I, in detail, we can define three variants of derived role holder like this. I have no time to uh, explain this one, but at, uh, in this one is uh, defined in symmetry uh, from uh, this time, uh, timelines. And in theory, we can define all of derived role holder for each occurring to depend role. However, all kinds of roles do not make sense well. I explain some, pick up some examples. For example, in case of departing passenger who are waiting his or her flight, uh, this is defined as a derived role holder like this. In this case, the original role holder is defined this time point. It means it is a uh, original. Okay. It's original. It's original role holder is a person who has just departed. On the other hand, in case of examining as a person who studies hard to pass an exam. We can also define a uh, derived role holder as a uh, examining as a derived role holder. But if we consider if original role holder is this one, that is a person who has just started to take an exam, in this case, uh, this original role holder is uh, somewhat uh, not make sense because Examinee have to study hard because they make good performance the whole process of the exam, not but not only the starting point. So we can understand this examinee role derived role holder as role holder derived from an original examinee, which means a person who was taking an exam. So it means, uh, in this case, uh, original role holder is uh, dependent on whole process of this exam. This is a uh, difference uh, to, exam to examples. In this way, when we consider a uh, difference of original role holder and uh, derived role holder, and the uh, presence of context and playing, we can uh, distinguish uh, these kind of examples. In case of, uh, for example, in case of worker or runner, uh, it is only defined at, as a whole working or running process, so they don't have a uh, derived role holder in generally. On the other hand, mother and mother is a uh, dependent on, mainly dependent on completion of the event or process. So it derived role holder is come from this uh, completion. And this uh, mainly because uh, in this case, its result as a, com a completion is more important than uh, the whole processes. On the other hand, uh, in case of examining, whole process is more important, then in this case, derived role holder is come from uh, a original role holder dependent on whole original processes. In this way, we can uh, know 
are ontological characteristics of this kind of laws. As summary, in this talk, I distinguish between ordinary role holder and derivable role holder. And we also introduce prospective and retrospective derivable role. And we also have made a computational model to represent these role based on our role, mo role models. Uh, future work includes deeper investigation of derivable role and other kinds of roles, and how to deal with derivable role with uh, derivable role, other role holder, and so on. And another topic includes what this uh, mean by ex ex uh, what mean play playing. That's all. Thank you very much. Uh,